So what I'd like to do in this video is take a quick tour or walkthrough of the syllabus, talk about the curriculum, what the course covers and what it doesn't cover. And at the same time, it's a good place to talk about prerequisites. If there's any experience you need for this course. And the short answer is no, but there's a longer answer. There are a couple things that might be helpful. So the way I'd like to do this, rather than just talking to you sitting at my desk, uh, is to actually use the magic of editing, very high tech, fancy skills here, uh, and hop into the syllabus now and just go over some of the details with you. All right, I'll see you there. Okay, so I'm looking at the syllabus here. There's currently 300 or so different lectures across 17 different sections. And I won't waste your time going over every single section. I just want to point out some of the big trends and kind of where we're going based off of where we are right now. So the next section is really focused on setting the stage uh, for what MySQL is, how it compares to other databases, what makes something a database, what's SQL compared to MySQL. And then we shift focus to installing. So by the end of that section, you'll have your own copy installed. And then from there, we really dive into code. We see how to create databases, how to put data in there, and then we focus a lot of time on how to get data out. How do we write complex queries? And along the way, there are dozens and dozens of exercises, including section six, which consists entirely of challenges. It's the CRUD exercise challenge, where we spend a lot of time working with one data set in detail. Then we keep moving on, basically working our way up towards more complex queries, asking more complex questions of our data. So all of this uh, contains things like aggregate functions, learning about string functions, learning how to work with dates and date times, how to sort our results, um, and then also working with logical operators. And if none of that means anything to you, don't worry. But if it does, you're looking for it, you'll find it in this syllabus. And then we move on to our next chunk of content, which has to do with interrelated data. With more complex data structures, how do we represent them with MySQL or with SQL? So we start talking about joins. If you've heard of joins before, sections 12 and 13 focus on joins. And then in section 14, we start working with our Instagram database clone. So what we'll do here is actually set out to come up with a clone of an Instagram-like database. Obviously, it won't be as complex as Instagram, but we work with things like photos and users and comments and likes and hashtags and followers and friends, all that fun stuff. So we'll set up our database here, we'll design it. And then section 15 is all challenges using that Instagram data. So it sort of serves as a final exam to the course, although it's not a test, there's solutions immediately after, but it sums up everything we've done until this point. You'll have a bunch of data, thousands and thousands of rows of data that I'm going to provide you. You'll put it in your database and then you'll write code to answer a bunch of real world questions that someone or some company might have about the data. But that's not the end of the course. We move on at the end into kind of a broader section where we start talking about MySQL plus other languages. So we see how to interact with Node in MySQL. And then finally, the course ends when we build a simple web application using MySQL and Node.js together. So that's a rough overview of all that we cover. One thing you might be wondering about are the prerequisites. And I did say earlier that there are no prerequisites. You don't have to have any experience aside from being able to work with a computer, uh, being able to work the internet, download things. But I should note that towards the end, well, at the very end, when we start talking about Node.js and building a web app, it definitely will help if you're familiar with things like JavaScript, HTML, and CSS. This isn't a course on those topics, so I'm not I don't spend you know hours and hours going over them uh, like I could. However, I do spend a little bit of time introducing them you know in a couple minutes doing a crash course. But that's not the focus of this course. So that's the only note I would add. If you're here just for MySQL and that's what you're concerned about, there are no prerequisites. But if you really want to be able to understand Node.js at the end and the web app that we build, it will help if you have a little bit of experience with HTML and CSS and JavaScript. Other than that though, no prerequisites.